I am back, and this time, I am out of the closet. That's right, Marilyn came out of the closet. I knew it! Shut up! I'm not dead! Oh, God! <laughs> so I've been meaning to do this video for a while now. I mean, it's winter break now, but I've been meaning to do it since December, which was my holiday break. So, five random facts about me. Fact number one. So for those who don't know me already, I am a sophomore at Andrew Hill High School and probably the only one with sophomore eyes. So I know there's going to be people out there that's like, wait, wait, that doesn't exist. There's no such thing as sophomore eyes, only senior eyes. But believe me, it exists. Okay, in other words, I'm just pure lazy. And let me show you how my holiday break, not my, not my winter break, I'm actually doing work this time, but my holiday break went. Oh crap, I have homework. Fact number two. I wear glasses because one eye is stronger than the other. Now I don't know if you guys can see this on uh, the camera, but if you could look closely, my left eye is actually pretty normal. Once it gets to my right eye, it's sort of weird. Fact number three. The first basketball hoop that I've ever made was with a football. That's right. It wasn't even with a you know a little kitty um, basketball hoop either. I was around about mm, six years old, and I had a football in my hand. I was just like, bah! and then I threw it, and then it just went right into the hoop like. Poof, poof. That's right. Six years old. That means I could become a professional football player. Basketball player? Football player? Ah? Fact number four! Mmm, fact number four. Mmm, mmm. I hate ketchup and stuff like barbecue sauce and mustard and stuff like that. But let's talk about my story on why I hate ketchup. So, uh, back then when I was young, I actually really did like ketchup. I mean, I ate ketchup with french fries, I ate barbecue with, um, with chicken nuggets and stuff at McDonald's. McDonald's was bad for you, by the way. But, I used to like ketchup. I mean, I didn't soak my french fries in it, but I liked it. Then, you know, my sister didn't like ketchup, and I always asked her, you know, why don't you like ketchup? Why don't you eat that stuff? And she's like, ew, it's gross. I said, no, it's not. It's really good. He's like, no, no, it's not. It's it's really nasty. I mean, they make it out of tomatoes. I mean, I eat tomatoes now, but back then, you know, I was like, ew, tomatoes, ew. And I just stopped eating it ever since. And then I tried later on uh, to eat ketchup again, because that's a stupid reason not to eat ketchup. But I guess my taste buds changed or something, and I, I just couldn't do it. Fact number five. Finally. So I actually have to bring you guys back into the closet for this one. Um, but as a kid, my worst fear wasn't of, you know, the boogeyman or a monster or something, but it was actually of this teddy bear. So I know I'm going to have some people out there thinking, you know, what the hell is that? Well, actually, this wouldn't be called a teddy bear. I would actually call this a piggy bear. So, you see this hole in it? And it actually shakes too. Uh, my parents, every single year, would collect all their change into this thing. And 
before you know it, believe it or not, it adds up to about 400, 200 to 400 a year. Yeah, it may not look scary to you right now, but look at these eyes. I mean, they just sort of, you know, stare at you, and it's all smiling. You know, actually, imagine having a dream with it holding a freaking knife, and these, you know, these eyes they start to freaking glow, and it starts to wobble to you, you know, and it starts to, you know, come after you with a knife, and you like, I scream, I scream, you know, and then, but your mom doesn't hear you, huh? It's scary now? Yeah! I thought so. Okay, so thanks uh, to all who's watching this and actually finished the video. Uh, thanks for putting up with me. I'm probably not going to make another video for quite a while because I'm going to be really busy with testing and stuff. But for the people that I tag, I tag um, all my cousins in Cosmedia. That means you, hi, and Justin, and any of my other cousins or relatives that want to make a video about themselves. You have been tagged. Maryland's hella cool.